So uh, we're just chilling here on uh, the Main Street Hub, and <laughs> this, this character showed up. Ian, it is such a breath of fresh air having you on this show today. Look how, look how excited Ian is, right? Buses or not. I know, right? I don't know. I'm so happy. Yeah. I'm so happy. Uh, welcome back, Ian. Thanks for joining us today in our little walk around adventure. Uh, you feel like hanging out with us in Frontierland? I want to soak it as much Disney as I can before everything goes to hell. <laughs> Going to hell it will. We'll get to that because when we come back, we're going to do a tour of uh, Tomorrowland without. And technically, I haven't been here since all that, that lots and lots of information. Yeah, so, so you and I will have lots to talk about. Yeah. Yay, yeah. you guys have some bromance. Well, but we I can't go. talk about that when we're in Frontierland because... It's made of wood. It's made of wood. It is the little town that could. And it, yeah, <laughs> and it's not an empire or a first order or a rebellion. Well, I was going to go, gonna go sit at the end of the trail. Oh, oh. That's true. Oh, God, we could do that and we could ta have that conversation. Let's go through the hub. We'll uh, say... Hello to Walt Disney here as we go by. Give him a little figurative high five. What's your favorite part of Frontierland? Right here. The entrance? Yep, right here. Really? Uh-huh. about you, Ian? Mm, and probably the trail. Trail, yeah, the new trail. Well, I mean, whether it's new or old, because it's, it feels the most secluded from the rest of the park. Yeah, yeah. You are in. Dude, that old trail was, was pretty dope. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Okay. Uh, you had the, you had the uh, petting zoo at the end. Mm -hmm. You had the uh, barbecue over there. Yeah. God, I miss a, I bet I miss a petting zoo at Disneyland, man. Me too. Ah, Frontier. Right? Kingdom, for now, still has theirs. Yeah. Really? Yeah. It, it closed over the winter, but reopened over, I think, the, I think this spring. So. Oh, all right. Well, you have to take a train to get to it. At Animal Kingdom. Yes. Oh, I, yeah. He's Planet Watch. The yeah, Planet Watch, watch yeah. yeah. Did we lose? <laughs> Liz kept going. <laughs> and it's like the one train at Disney, at Disney World that's side facing, because the trains didn't match. That's the true, yeah. Facing, but that was a side facing. And it actually, well, it has a, a lot of views of backstage also. Yeah, that's also like a really cool themed train. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, because it's got the, uh, it's the... It's got um, lots of luggage on it. Luggage and all that stuff, yeah. All right. Should we do some shooting? I think we should, yeah. It's part of Frontier Line. I'm yeah. horrible at it, actually. Ian's not. He's a good shot. Hey, Ian. It's all that military training. <laughs> you mean Boy Scouts? <laughs> Here we go, Boy Scouts. <laughs> Storm coming. And a ghost rider. And a horse whinnying. Alright, Ian. What the? What was that? One for one. Nice shot. Oh, okay. In the back? Oh, there it goes. Thanks. What about... Are those spiders up there? Kill the spiders! Got... Spiders are down. Oh, get the train, yeah. Well, if he does well, we'll Alright. Alright, I hope you really mess up like me. Where are you aiming? Uh, so I'm gonna just try this two stuff right in front of me to right. see if I can get it right. Wow. Okay. okay. You know what? I'm just gonna walk away. A little calibration shot. Uh, yeah, right. Just to... Okay. Um... That's hard to get at. I'll go for an answer. Oh, yeah. Just <laughs> Did you see the, did you see 
see him? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It might, the target of the train might be behind the train. Uh, so it's possible. Yeah. Yeah. It's easy, see? What's... It's a really long guide for my short little arms. Give me like a little red up and we'll talk. Like a T-Rex? <laughs> well, that was fun. Shooting at the shooting exposition. We don't get to do that very often. That's another one of those things. Like, well, Liz and I were talking about on Main Street. We went to the fire, uh, the fire department yes. on Main Street. People skip that a lot. People skip the shooting ex exhibition a lot. Yeah. But uh, now, uh, they used to shoot actual pellets. Really? That thing, yeah. That would no. have to have been a long time ago. Very long time ago, yes. Wow. Way back in the day. Uh, they, but they used to shoot actual pellets, yeah. And there was actual, like, gunpowder. That because it had yeah, to. Yeah, you need something. To, you need something to expel the pellet. Yeah. Now it's just air, right? It's just an air. Yeah. 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 And then you're just you're hitting it. It's a light. It's not really not even it's air. It's an infrared light. Yeah. Light you're shooting oh. a laser. Yeah. Oh. It's like it. we're actually in the future. But of, they do include like a little, probably like spring mechanism inside to give you a little bit of kickback. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it feels like you, you know get some feedback. Because okay. there's no there's like, no real uh, trigger when you're. Like uh, buzz. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Actually, Buzz has more of a trigger than that one does. But as far as the way the, the sensor is working. Oh, yeah, yeah. Got it. Yeah. This, though, is one of my favorite things about Frontierland is the way that they, you know, the, the overall thematic elements that you see all the places, especially like during Christmas when we see the, yeah. the boots and stuff. Those are great. I love that. Big Thunder. Oh, I wish I could go over there. You know what? Let's go down the trail. I want to go down that trail today. Do you like to get fast passes? Uh, for Big Thunder? Yeah. No, uh, I don't think we're going to ride it today. Let's see. I'm hungry. Look at this guy. Tony? I don't know, it'd be funnier if he doesn't realize it until after he sees it. <laughs> and we're like, hey, look at that guy. <laughs> Just because it's funny. Though. Uh. <laughs> what do you think of this new uh, entrance, Ian? I think it's good. It, yeah. it, it more clearly denotes where the entrance is. I agree. It's hard to tell, but also it keeps the standby and fast pass lines from both sticking out to the Yeah, it does kind of point them in the right direction. It board deliberately points fast pass Fresh line up this way. Hello. Hi. How are you? And then standby yeah, the other way. Yeah. No, I like it very much. I think it's great. Because before you would have fast pass backing up well into the walkway, which would clog things further. It could, and plus it got random, uh, and it was rather kind of vague. Oh, let's go up here. Let's go up in this thing. The hard goods only place. The Frontierland River Packing Shipping Sh Office shipping. place. Shipping and receiving. <laughs> okay, maybe not. <laughs> I would like I would like more of this though. I guess we can't really fit too much of this in here. Frontierland River Pack it. It probably says packaging. Hmm. That was fun. I mean Look at this view. Nailed it. It's pretty great, isn't it, Ian? Yep. Disney needs more lo-fi stuff like this. Very underrated. Is anyone surprised? I'm not. Are you? <laughs> Let's just show it up with a pickle, Ian. Again, are you surprised? I'm not. I'm hungry. It tastes so good. <laughs> I got a good one. Juicy. Mm. Right? I'm eating a pickle. <laughs> Why am I forever impressed? 
impressed with this scene right here. Man. It's good kinetic energy. It really is. Right here. It's perfect. Mm -hmm. It gets better, actually. You keep going? Because then you've got water features on both sides. Yeah, man. No wonder we were able to come here every weekend. What's not to love? Oh, here they come. And then, like you said, <laughs> looks like that growth is starting to close up the uh, the tunnel a little bit. That's happening for some. Is that a, is that a real fish? We that's a turtle. That's a turtle, you're right. Yes, yes, that's a turtle. That's a turtle. <laughs> There's a bird on that branch. I can't tell what it is, though. I don't see the uh, oh, animal. Oh, there's a huge one up there on the left side of me. Oh, yeah, on the shore? Yeah. Let's see. No, he's not moving. He can't be real. No, he has to be real. <laughs> That was a joke. Oh. Uh, uh. Turtles are really slow. Uh, I don't see the animatronic fish though. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's possible they're not on right now. Yeah, I'm not seeing, I've not seen the jumping fish for uh, a while. they are working, it's a good touch. Did you hear that? I heard it. Not the woodpecker. I heard uh, like a bear. An owl? Oh. Well, that too. Soak it in right now, though, guys. This little casual moment that we're experiencing right now. 12 weeks. Right there. 12 weeks. How many people? I mean, the reservation thing will help for the first three weeks, because mm. after that, it's, it's just, you know, first come. Are they just not going to let, but, so they won't prohibit people from going in? Well, I mean, they'll still they'll reach a point where the land hits capacity and there'll be a way to get in the land. And where do they put those people? On, they'll have to set up switchback upon switchback along the trail like, at that point. Because the reservation thing is only for the first three weeks. Yeah. The 31st to June 23rd. It's going to be crowded after the first three weeks. It's not like it's not going to be crowded. Well, it's also not like they're not going to, the reservation still won't fill the land to capacity. I think there's an almost false assumption they'll keep it comfortable. Oh, no, no, no they're going to fill it. They're still going to fill it to the fire yeah. marshal approved capacity. Absolutely. Absolutely. The reservation is just is a reasonable way of controlling the time and speed at which people are entering and exiting. Yeah. How many people do you think you could fit right here in like, you know, four With, switchbacks? Uh, well, you can fit more than four switchbacks in there. No, well, okay, but I'm just saying if you were like a couple thousand maybe? A lot. And there's also the other dip to the other entrance and yeah. the tip. I'm, I'm not sure what they're going to do to the Critter Country ent entrance. And There's surprises. nowhere to put well, anybody there. Well, it's fairly long. A stretch. Yeah, but you need that for people coming in and out of Hungry Bear also. Only up to the point where that, that, that walk section is. You could, where the upper platform is, the three other yeah, stairs are back. You can yeah. do a lot there. Yeah. But I'm wondering, I, will they even use that? Because Riser since won't be open. Do you just construction wall that whole back half? Yeah, no, you're right. There probably or, won't or be. Or do you just construction wall the actual portion of the ride and leave the walkway open? No, I, I think they, they keep people in just right here for the first three weeks. I think, yeah, I, there's no reason to open up that, that, that part of it, I don't think. Which means the X-Wing and A-Wing back there just don't get seen at all, I guess, to rise the resistance. Well, levels. people will find their way over there, I'm sure. Oh, but I mean, like, do you need to do out, have that walkway usable at all back there? Or do you, and only construction wall off the ride and queue? Or just, to, for simplicity's sake, construction wall the whole back end? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. That's a good question. So I, I guess it depends on how much exterior outside work is still left to be done. Yeah. Or if it's all technical stuff inside that they're waiting on. I think they're nearly there. Yeah, I really do. I've heard mixed reports. Some people are like, well, maybe, you know, it might be that it'll, act, it'll open on the 20, June 24th and that's when it was meant to open anyways. That's what I think. 
but well, there's also some I think, insiders I think, who are like, no, they're months and months behind. The, a lot of the Android truck stormtroopers aren't even there yet. There's big technical problems. So I, I don't know. It's all it could go. It could go either way. Cause I've always felt like all they said was later in the year and not just. Uh, right. No, I've always felt like the end of June was the was the scheduled <laughs> yes, opening. I think that yeah. was, and they said, screw it, let's just open early and start generating income on this. Right. The well, question, but also to the question is, what is Rise since on time, and it'll open you know, right. in June, or is it actually running behind, and it'll be months? I think it's on time. I do. I hope so, because yeah. the land's going to need both well, months running. Yeah. Right. July 4th. <laughs> no, we don't know yet. So. Yeah. We have to turn around. Oh, wait, no, we have to go look at the other trail first. The fun trail. The trail that'll put you next to that cool Thai Eshelman shop. Yeah. Yes, that's, this is the, now, yeah, the trail we're approaching is the first order side, basically, yeah, right? that's where the first order is. They're using yeah. that document. Right, the resistance side is that side, because the is resistance it, side the is the, are in the, hiding in the, ruins. the outskirts. They're hiding in the ruins. Yeah, in the ruins. The first order is Hey, guys, hi. Hi, I love your Where's shirt. Where's the first order, I think, based on, is painted in document, like, nine yeah. or something. Okay. And that's probably where their shop is as well. All right. Well, let's go to the first order side down the trail here. More peace, tranquility. Soon to be madness. That, another entrance, correct? This is going to be yeah. This is the this is considered the fantasy land entrance. <laughs> They're both I technically guess. on Big Thunder Trail, but this is the one that's immediately next. To right. Uh, but yeah, that's an entrance right there, and that's that's gonna put, right on the other side of that wall, on the other side of those trees, is a first order echelon. Thai uh, echelon. Thai echelon. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, we're literally 100 feet from where that thing is right now. Yeah. And it's probably there right now. Oh no! Yeah. It's, it's, it is there, right? Yeah. It's, yeah, we've it's, seen it's video. Installed. Yeah. Um, two months, really? Uh, Twelve uh, weeks. Twelve weeks. Three Twelve months. Weeks from yesterday is when it officially opens. Yeah. Well, so being toys from now, it'll already be open. Yep. You guys ready? Nope. nope. Terrified. I'm genuinely terrified. Brought you with us on the Mark Twain to show you some of our more scenic views of Frontierland. We might have to stop in real quick at the Golden Horseshoe at some point. It's part of Frontierland. To say hi to Willem, who's currently out front with the rest of the laughing stock company trying to get people to come see a show <laughs> they're great man better view here for you they're 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 kind of just talking amongst themselves oh look it's tiana also oh dear <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could hear what they were saying right now. One last stop in Frontierland before we head out. We're gonna take a break from our tours to go to food and wine and have some lunch, but I wanted to stop in Golden Horseshoe because what's a visit to Frontierland? Frontierland, I mean, it was here, right? Opening day, Golden yeah. Horseshoe. It's been around forever. It's, it's, it's the anchor of Frontierland. I don't. I don't think they're having a show. That video they did for the fidget that plays in the opera house, where Steve Martin watched that one guy do a million performances. <laughs> comedy. That one guy. I can't think of the guy's name. Uh, where he says, oh my gosh! Yeah. Um, I can't remember his name either. Yeah. But this is one of the people who did the, you know, the original laughing stock routine for years and years. And years. <laughs> The Golden Horseshoe. Uh, they had their honeymoon. I mean, their uh, their wedding uh, anniversary. Uh, anniversary here. What did it really? Fiftieth, I think it was. So that we can't no, not fiftieth. What would it have been? In fifty-five, he would have been twenty thirtieth, maybe. Okay, we'll do, we'll do or twenty-fifth. I mean, it wouldn't be as impressive now with uh, with the chicken nuggets around. And, and, right. No. It, it would have been a different experience. Like, they were able to set it up as like a nice private event. <laughs> yeah. But he would have sat right in one of those. Uh, Stage side boots. And uh, actually, let's go up for a minute. No show going on yet. You know, I would spend a lot more time here. I would come here a lot more often. If they had something.
something besides chicken strips and chili. You know. Do they have fish and chips here? Yes, they do have fish and chips, though I wouldn't... Is that Sage Shore, though? No, they have it here. They have it here, too? Yeah, yeah. Do you want to recommend it? I don't know that I've... I may have tried it just once, so I don't remember if they're any good or not. I'll try it next time. Okay. I like it here. I like it here. I do like it here too, yeah. Like an ice cream cookie sundae sauce. Yep. <laughs> it, it is about lunchtime. <laughs> it is about lunchtime. We'll give her a break on that one. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Let's make it a point, guys. We have to make it a point to come back in here soon. The thing That's the other hard part about having more meals here or in a lot of places at Disneyland actually is because there's always something going on that like you know events that we have to keep <laughs> eating event food like food and wine yeah. makes it hard to like enjoy a good old-fashioned meal at the Golden Horseshoe which right now sounds pretty great we need to stop this show right now I think get out of here and head over to DC because I'm starving are you starving look at that face Yes, let's do it. We've got lots more videos for you to see, so grab a churro and check out some of our other videos and have your mind blown by how much fun we're having. We truly are the best of Disney Bake Fresh Daily. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time. Fresh Baked!